key service item for the back of Falcon, uh, BA, BF and FG Falcons, uh, SX, SY territory. We have these rose joint spherical bearing, hind joint, silent block, block. They have all these different names, biaxial ball joint as well. Um, we have the rear toe arm. So this is the outer for the toe arm. There's, a, there's this bearing in the end of the toe arm. We have the rear upper camber arm. There's a bearing in the outer of the camber arm as well. A couple of things we need to point out. This is a biaxial ball joint. This is the, tre the true name. Not only does it rotate, but it also has to misalign. Now in earlier, uh, uh, earlier vehicles, we may have actually had steel on steel bearings. Now the problem with steel on steel bearing, as soon as you get a little bit of movement, you get quite a large audible noise through the car. So the manufacturers have come up with a compromise. And the compromise is this little sleeve that goes in between the male and female sections in the bearing. Unfortunately, this compromise is also the, the bearing's downfall. This bearing lives its life at a particular height, being pounded in a, diff in a particular direction. Um, when we go to test these ball joints on the vehicle, a lot of people fall into uh, diagnosing them incorrectly. If you jack up this vehicle on a two-post hoist and have the wheels that droop, it's too late to test these bushings. Unless they are totally failed, not unlike this one is here, and you might be able to hear that on our... Yeah, it's actually knocking around, has a lot of movement sideways uh, in that bearing. Um, unless it's really, really bad like that one, you won't typically pick it up. What we have to do is we have to actually jack up the vehicle underneath the rear spring seat. So underneath the lower control arm. And what that means is by jacking it up there, you're actually testing that little nylon or, or nitrile socket for its movement at this point. If you let the wheel go to droop, what happens is, even though this, this uh, nylon socket might be worn in a particular position, you actually roll it into a new place. The suspension will also apply a certain amount of side load. And unless they are really, really bad, you won't diagnose it properly. So just quickly to recap that, to diagnose these spherical bearings, rose joint, hind joint, whatever you want to call it, you have to have the car or the wheel at ride height and do it, it's very similar to a tie rod and wheel bearing check. So checking top and bottom and left and right on the wheel and as long as you have that vehicle jacked up under the spring perch, you'll pick up these very easily. Um, just to let you know, for the toe arm and the upper camber arm is one part number and that's our 46286. For the lower control arm outer, it's actually another part number, 46287. Um, for more information on these parts and others, please visit our website at nolathane.com.au.